Hey everybody, Quint Lears with the National Sales and Marketing Council, proud SMC member, and I'm here with Kevin Oakley. Kevin, thanks for joining us. Absolutely. I've been watching you for what feels like years now. Yeah, no, you finally finally came to say hi. Where are we right now? We're at the place to be, Sales Central, IBS 2018. No. There was a big speaker earlier. Do you remember his name? Uh, rhymed with Jokely. Kevin Oakley. There it is, man. So, we're, look, we're how, proud to have you on the program. Thanks for being a part of Sales Central. You're always giving back, always speaking, giving great content. What did you talk about today? Today, I talked about SEO and websites, and in particular, what is SEO, what is not SEO. You know, there's four main components the technical aspect, on page optimization, local SEO, and content creation. Four things. Most people only do one. So, we talked about all four to make sure everyone knows how to work with the right team members and hold them accountable on the SEO front. And then we talked about how to make sure that when people come to the website, they're actually converting and using quantitative and qualitative analysis, two big words over lunch, I know, but we talked about how to get in-depth stories about customers getting frustrated and lost in your website and how to look at those and then use quantitative analysis, looking at large data sets in Google Analytics and other places to really solve problems that users are having. So what we found as an example, in our analysis is that 80 percent of people who go on home builder websites when we ask them to go find a house that they can build which is the biggest reason you'd go to a home builder website 80 percent of the time they can only find inventory they can't actually find how to go through that process and what's step one step two so kind of putting all those pieces together to help people understand how to make their websites better and uh, get going on seo the right way so that, that, and then let's and just lunch, and it was free lunch too. No, let's talk about SEO. It's, it's, it's search engine optimization. optimization. Yep. I like what you said about giving the steps because so many people they're they're like, well, what? I'm in new home sales, and they'll say, well, what's the next steps? They don't know. Literally, we make them have to ask us, what do I do? Mm -hmm. And so you don't have to do it yourself. You don't have to be the one doing everything and everywhere when it comes to marketing. But SEO is such a specialized skill that you have to know how to manage and work with the partner that you have. Because they may be SEO experts and not understand the industry at all, or they may be industry uh, specific, but not as good as non-industry SEO folks. And so they might think SEO is only on-page optimization, and they may ignore the other three areas, which you're not going to ultimately win if you do that. So um, page optimization, you just at the bottom of the page put a bunch of little words? Uh, absolutely not. Yeah, right? That's the good old days or the bad old days. Now, on-page optimization is simply making each individual page as good as it can be, whereas the technical SEO structure part is the whole site as a whole. And so there's two different components. And local is, you know, when you're looking on Google Maps or iOS apps on your phone and you're typing in new homes near me, what pops up on the map? What does it look like? Are your open house hours shown correctly? All that kind of stuff. Give one, two, or three tips that somebody says, because we've covered, I mean, a lot of big picture stuff. Like, right now, go home and do this, this, and this. It's easy. The first one is go on usertesting.com or a similar service. Any site that is going to have actual users go on your website, you can give them tasks to perform, like go find the perfect home of your dreams, then watch them get lost. And what's really unique is it's recording what they're doing on the computer, but they also have to audibly say what's in their head. The whole time they're telling you, well, I think I'm going to go here and find this. Oh, nope, that's not what I thought it was. So I can't find. And it's really enlightening. It's about $59 per test. And as long as you do uh, you know, a decent number of them, you can choose device, mobile, desktop, tablet, where in the country. You can ask questions like, have you purchased a home in the last three years? Uh, do that first because that qualitative data of seeing actual people use the site helps inform you where to go look at the quantitative data. You can go in Google Analytics all day long, but if you don't know what you're looking for and what problem you're trying to solve, you're going to get lost and, and waste a lot of time and get frustrated. I know you got a big event coming up, so we got to wrap this up. Oh, but yeah. what, tell me, um, what's a low-hanging fruit, like a big mistake that you see, it makes you cringe? Every time you look at a website, you're like, oh, there it is again, that thing. What is that thing? It's pretty easy. Contact forms that say something like request information or information request. That's the most boring thing in the world, right? You're trying to go find the place that you're going to take your family to make your life better. And instead of saying, hey, you have a question, we're here to help, we're here to support you, answer any question you have about our, instead it says information request or join our email list. No one wants to join your email list, right? They want answers, they want, they want solutions, and they want to talk to a real human being. And instead we do all this terrible, so when we look at websites that have terrible conversions, a big part of it is just calls to action that are so passive and just boring. Um, and, and so what's the, what do you put in place of that? 
Uh, a real human being whenever possible. People want to know that a real human is going to help solve their problems. And you want to give them examples of questions that, that you're there to answer. So it's not just ask a question about anything. It's ask a question about this home if you're on an inventory page. Ask a question about this community and give them examples of, hey, you can ask me this, you can ask me that. And that prompts them to know, okay, I, I sh if I reach out, I'm going to get back what I'm expecting and what I need to take the next step. And that's your special is the conversion do you convert dot com. Last question, you're a deep dive, man. You're a you go deep into this stuff. Why? I mean what's got you what's what what is your itch that makes you want to just go deep into all this stuff? Yeah, you know, the thing that makes me feel accomplished is learning something new. And then um, the other kind of full circle of that is sharing that to other people. And so my big why, my why of what I do, what I do is I, I don't want to see people get taken advantage of, get ripped off, um, because you know we've all purchased 100,000 banner ads in 2006 and nothing happened, right? And so there is this shift in terminology and, and what people are talking about. And I don't want to see good people make bad decisions or be taken advantage of simply because of that lack of understanding. So that's, to me, it's just about giving back so we can all have better conversations about this stuff. Any other thing? How do we connect with you? Uh, do you convert .com, uh, on the Facebooks, actually, uh, newhomemarketing.com. Are we allowed to talk about that right now? Newhomemarketing.com. Yeah. Hey, let's table that table. We're gonna, we have another interview. Okay. Another video. Uh, do you convert.com. You can also just Google Kevin Oakley. Yeah. SEO right there. Hey, that's some Kevin. Wow. Listen, proud to have you on the program. You got Absolutely. a big show. Thanks for giving back and what you're doing out here. Hey, thanks for doing this. Thanks for making it fun. Thank you, NAHB. Sales Central's awesome. Yeah. Make it a great 2018 at Sales Central International Builder Show with my friend Kevin Oakley.